my name is Barbara. I'm 22 years old. I actually live in Germany and I'm here because of business and vacation. The people are very nice. They're, they, they're very welcoming. And I also like the weather. Um, yeah. So the people in Ghana are very warm. They're very welcoming. They're very helpful. Um, last time I saw someone having like an accident, like the car just, the car was in the gutter <laughs> and everyone was helping the guy to, to get the car out of the gutter, you understand? People are very nice and welcoming and helpful. This is how I see Ghana people, yeah. Well, the, the rent in Accra is very expensive, right? But it's not something negative, negative. It's fine because, you know, it's a very crowded city, so they need to raise every rent prices. And also, um, the customer service here is not that quite cool. <laughs> it's a little bit, yeah, but it's okay. Like, you can endure that, it's fine. That's the only negative thing. And eh, the traffic. The traffic, I think the traffic is the worst thing. <laughs> I, if I compare Ghana with Germany, then Ghana is not a safe country to live in. Like, you need to be very careful where you walk at, especially there are some seasons where you shouldn't be walking alone as a woman. Especially at night, you shouldn't be walking alone. Um, and since the corruption is very high here, it's like, even if something happens to you, it's like, some people don't care. Like, you can pay the police and it's fine, you understand? So, there are safer countries than Ghana, but there are also worse countries. So, Ghana's in the middle, somewhere. Yes, Ghana is an expensive country to live in, at least Accra. I, don't, like, I think I can imagine Kumasi and Tamale, like the northern region or Sunyani, are more cheaper. But Accra is a crowded place. A lot of people come. A lot of people, a lot of foreign people come, especially in December. You know, then Ghana's party, Ghana party is like one. So it's very expensive here in Accra. Yes, it is. Yes. I have one favorite place. It's like the beach. I could stay there from morning to evening. I like, I like the vibes, I like the feeling, you see the water, you have a nice breeze. Everything is nice, the people are cool, the music is cool. Yeah, they should try Labadi Beach. Labadi. Yeah, they should try it. It's cool. <laughs> yes, the local food, definitely. The local food, they should really come and try the local food. And there are also a lot of like tours you can do to see a lot of like they should visit tourist place. But I, also, but I also think that if you're in Ghana, you should also visit the place where it's not that developed. You, sh you should also see the other side of Ghana because a lot of people visit only the nice places and Ghana is nice. But there are also a lot of places that you should have seen to see like the difference, you see, like the, the gap between rich and poor is very big here and I, I think everyone should have seen that at least once. <laughs> like to live? Yeah. Accra. Accra. Even though it's expensive, but it's the coolest. Like you have everything around you actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Accra is cool. Like someone who doesn't have any problem with traffic yeah. is cool in Accra. Or maybe like places like Adan. You see, now I'm getting to it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Adan is also very nice. It's also very expensive. It's getting more expensive with time. Yeah, like the value is raising. Yeah. Hmm. It's not a food food, but it's like killer will it. You know that? Yeah, so it's kind of in between. Yes, yeah, eat a snack, right? But I can eat it every day, every time, every hour, every minute. <laughs> yeah, this is like food, snack. I can eat this every um, I haven't visited a lot, but I think 
by far like the living room the living room is a nice restaurant it's very like local it's simple but the food is nice the people are cool yeah i always go there after church yeah. every sunday <laughs> so yeah Okay, the nightlife in Ghana, I, I was only at one club, to be honest. It was Garage. You know, the ones with the umbrellas up? Yeah. It was cool. Like, the music is cool. The atmosphere is cool. Everyone comes to have fun. It's cool, like, the nightlife is, and it's, like, people can really stay up to the next morning. I really thought, okay, after 2 or 3 am like, people will be tired, but no, they're really keeping pushing through. It was really nice and yes, it was really nice and yeah, I'm happy with the nightlife in Ghana actually. I recommend everyone to at least experience it once. The corruption, I don't like that at all. It's, 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 sometimes it's, it can work in your favor but it shouldn't be like that actually. And uh, the salary payment is very low. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's sad actually. If I could change that, I would change these two things. So you understand? And yeah, I will, like, I will put more effort in the youths for the youths to know their own future, for them to have like a better vision. Because like a lot of people who live here, they want to move out to go to foreign because they think they can have a better life, which is not true. Ghana has everything. Ghana is like gold, but it's like, the opportunities, you understand? But if I could change, but if I could change, <laughs> but if I could change these two things, it would be uh, the salary payment and the corruption, right? The corruption, that's the two things I would like to change. And maybe some traffic lights, just because of the traffic, I don't know, maybe we can change that. <laughs> but that's, that's the only thing. <laughs> Yes, you can live, of course, you can live here without speaking Chi or other, any other language, but people will recognize you that you're not from here. Me, myself, if I speak the local language, they, can, they, can, they see that I'm not from here. I, I didn't live here my whole time. So it doesn't matter if you speak Chi or you don't speak Chi. Um, just because you, you didn't live here, you have a diff different accent, they will see it. But, and they might maybe raise your, the prices if you want to buy something. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is what I've noticed definitely. But yeah, you just need to be strong and self-confident and then like, you tell them, no, you cannot do this with me. And then it's fine, I guess. But you can definitely live here without speaking the language. A lot of people, a lot of foreign people, like Asian people, people from the US, they don't speak the language, but they are living here, they are doing their thing here. So it's definitely possible. Okay, if people come from outside to Ghana, they shouldn't be stuck in Accra. They should see Adan, they should see the Volta region, they, they should see like other places. Ghana is not only Accra, but yeah, they should go and see different things. It's nice, like there are a lot of tourist attractions also outside of Accra. So they should also see these things. Yeah, that's what I Simple, they should bring a lot of money. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. I think. Okay.